In this video, we are going to learn about what do we mean by a powerful set. I mean a power set. So what is a power set? A power set is a collection of all subsets of a set. And when I say collection, it kind of implies set. So actually a power set is a set, but it just has smaller sets of a bigger set. So let's say that we have a set, which is A, then we represent the power set as P of A and A we write it in this curly braces. So which kind of, this represents the power set for the set A. Now, let us look at an example of a power set. So let's say we will take a simple example because it's very quick to understand the concept using simple examples. So let's say that we have a set A having just two elements, one and two. Now, what are the subsets of A? If you remember, we said that for any set, there are two default subsets. One is the null set here, and the other one is the set itself. And then we also take out the other elements. So for example, we can have one as a subset and two as a subset. Now this kind of covers all the possible combinations of subsets that we can form from this set A. Okay, so the power set of A is represented as the collection of all these subsets as is shown over here. Now, we represent the number of elements in a set by putting a number n and putting the set in braces as, as shown here. So the number of elements in this power set of A is actually equal to 4. Now that kind of brings us to another question. How do we find out the number of subsets of a particular set? So let us say that if we have a set A and this is how we represent the number of elements in a set A. So if the number of elements in a set A is equal to m, where m is some number, it could be any number depending on how many elements are there, then the number of elements in its power set, set that is p of A, will be 2 to the power m. So for example, if you have a set A whose the, the number of elements in set A is equal to 3, then the number of elements in the power set of A is going to be equal to 2 to the power 3 that is equal to 8. Would you like to try to prove it using some examples? Take some simple set which has let's say 3 and 4 elements and see if th this holds true. So this was our discussion about power set and now we continue our discussion further and explore more about sets in the next video.